about to embark on the most dangerous job interview in the world. As if the last time wasn't bad enough, this list proves that Hollywood really will do anything to get butts in the seats. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for another Top 10 Misleading Movie Trailers. Like last time, we're looking at trailers to movies that failed to do justice to the film's content and vastly misled audiences, making them expect a different experience. You don't know what happens? No, that's why I'm reading it. What, does the dog die at the end? No, I'm, I'm not saying anything. Look how much I had left. <sighs> this can be anything from focusing on the wrong subject matter, relying too heavily on jokes, or anything else that made the trailer stray too far from the actual film. The fraternity has trained assassins for thousands of years. You'll be given everything you need. Curve the bullet. As you may have expected, a spoiler alert is in order. <laughs> I think he's ready. Number 10. Kingsman – The Secret Service Huge IQ. Great performance of school. But you gave up. Those who watched this trailer probably thought, great, just another spy movie we do not need. Oh, yes. Very nice. What does this do? Electrocute you. Don't be ridiculous. It's a hand grenade. However, those who watched the film were pleasantly surprised by an experience unlike any other, complete with ridiculous action sequences, hilarious situations, and a movie that never took itself too seriously, while overcoming the usual tropes. My people will be getting in touch with you very soon. I guarantee it. Unfortunately, the trailer only focuses on the action element, making it look like just another run-of-the-mill secret agent flick, rather than the original and refreshing take on the genre that it actually was. Number 9. Ghost World What do you think you're doing? Shut up that damn noise! Rock and roll, baby! Freedom of speech! <laughs> that guy rules! At the complete opposite end of the spectrum, there is Ghost World a tragedy disguised as a comedy by a trailer that basically shows every joke in the movie. Oh, what, are we in slow motion here? Come on, what are you, hypnotized? Have some more kids, why don't you? It looks like a typical coming-of-age film, filled with awkward teenage humor, and there's not even a semblance of a plot present. Just joke after joke. Hey, hey, you! How many times I tell you? No shirt, no service. Get the hell out of my store. What do you think this is, Club Med? It's America, dude. Learn the rules. The story follows teenagers as they play a prank on a lonely man. Only it backfires and ruins all their lives. Oh, this is so bad. It's almost good. This is so bad. It's gone past good and back to bad again. It's far more dramatic and evocative than the lighthearted trailer lets on. You're the one who's still living out some stupid seventh grade fantasy. Your own apartment. Fuck you. Have fun living with your dad for the rest of your life. Number 8. Adventureland Party at my house tonight. My dad's out of town. Yeah, I'm invited. Yep. That's why I'm telling you. Once you make one popular movie, all your others will be judged according to its standards. Such is the unfortunate case with Greg Matola, whose gross-out Superbad was a hit with audiences. There's a whole corn dog! <laughs> this meant that his intimate and meaningful film Adventureland, about a young adult who gets a job at an amusement park, was marketed as another crass, inappropriate film like his predecessor. For those who think I feel Blah, 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 blah. Oh, we have a loser. Although audiences were treated to a relatable story filled with surprising depth, many left disappointed that they didn't see more nutshots and awkward sex scenes. Oh, overhead him! Look at this thing. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Number 7. The Skeleton Twins I was thinking you'd come stay with me. The movie stars Bill Hader and Kristen Wiig post Saturday Night Live, so of course it should be quirky and hilarious, right? I can't wait to be the creepy gay uncle. You're hired! The trailer certainly thinks so, as it's filled with awkward sibling humor, like silly dancing and mother-hating jokes. And the blurbs all reflect how hilarious it is. When do the boys show up? It's dyke night, sweetie. It's what? While the trailer does hint at drama, it never hits the serious weight of the film, which opens with the two main characters on the brink of suicide. The movie was praised for its dark performances and difficult subject matter, but you wouldn't know it from this trailer. I have a very serious question for you. Mm -hmm. Will you go to prom with me? <laughs> Number 6. The SpongeBob Movie – Sponge Out of Water 
At last, it is mine. The movie is called Sponge Out of Water, so it seems obvious to market the movie as a SpongeBob adventure on land rather than the ocean floor. The movie follows SpongeBob and his gang as they travel to the surface to take back a magical book. But the problem is that they only break the surface in the last 20 minutes. We need to get these guys back in the water. Put you back in the water. <laughs> Ugh, this place smells awful. While audiences were expecting an animation live-action hybrid on the surface, they were instead given a typical SpongeBob experience with only a fraction of the running time actually taking place on land. You get out of my sister shared castle! Ah! <laughs> Number 5. The Place Beyond the Pines. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Luke and the Heartthrob. Ryan Gosling and Bradley Cooper are two of this generation's finest actors. So, naturally, filmmakers wanted to show the two together when marketing this film. Who's that guy? He's yours. The trailer focuses extensively on Gosling and his story, even though the film is split into three distinct acts, and Gosling disappears after the first. <laughs> It's a fantastic story about what it means to be a father, and director Derek Cianfrance was praised for his ambition, but that ambition is stunted in the trailer that only focuses on a small part of a much larger framework. Got a kid? You want to provide for that kid? You got to do that using your skill set. And your skill set? Shit to hell. All right, everybody wants to live, put your hands in the air! Number four. Contagion. You had a seizure this morning, Beth. Yeah, she before? had a history of seizures no, 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 and allergies. No. In the wake of epidemics like H1N1 and SARS, it's only natural that Hollywood would produce a story about the worldwide fear of disease. They're calling out the National Guard. They're moving the president underground. People will panic. Contagion is about a deadly virus as it travels around the globe, and the trailer does everything it can to instill fear, including showing rampant death and desolate cityscapes like a horror movie. What are you talking about? What happened to her? The movie was actually a realistic depiction of an epidemic, featuring many scenes of scientific research and lots of talking. Well, I'm that just information, trying to I'm understand. Sorry. I know. We're getting the same results as Sussman. We've sequenced the virus and determined its origin, and we've modeled the way it enters the cells of the lung and the brain. And the virus contains both bat and pig sequences. In the bottom right, you can see the dark green is pig, and the light green is bat. And here you can see the crossover event, uh, pit, bat, bat, and pig, bat. While still fascinating, it's not nearly as exciting as the trailer makes it seem. It's figuring us out faster than we're figuring it out. It's mutated. Number three, the cabin in the woods. Everybody ready? <laughs> it's hard to convey satire in a trailer, so we guess they just decided to drop the satirical angle altogether and create another typical looking scary movie preview. This is awesome. The trailer features every cliche in the book including a secluded cabin and a creepy gas station attendant. We're looking for, uh, what's it called? Tillerman Road. Not to get you there. Getting back. That's your concern. All playing over loud rock music and ominous text. <laughs> what is that thing? We have to stay together. What they failed to convey was that the movie was actually satirizing these elements and creating an original horror movie that paid homage to all that came before it in a unique fashion. We have a winner! It's the Buckners, ladies and gentlemen! The Buckners pull the W! Number 2. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind I'm Clementine, by the way. I'm Joel. Hi, Joel. No jokes about my name. With what's perhaps one of the oddest trailers ever, this movie was marketed as a light-hearted romantic comedy, when it was anything but. You like? Oh. You look like a tangerine. The preview shows clips of the characters having tons of goofy fun, complete with happy, bubbly music in the background. Good luck, Jonas Day. Please let me keep this memory. 
The eraser guys are coming here. The movie is actually about a couple erasing their memories of each other and is an intensely dramatic and at times depressing film. It even won the Oscar for Best Original Screenplay, proving how complex and emotional the film really is. Why they used a song like Mr. Blue Sky is beyond us, although we're guessing they were deliberately misleading us. Before we mislead you with our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. That's right, we're superheroes. You love us. You always heard the ones you love. One. You should have heard it all. Can't just kick him out. He's family. Well, I gotta get back to work on the Tumyan. What? Tumyan. It's a cross pollination between a tomato and onion. Let's make a comeback. That's what I'm talking about. You're Birdman. You are a god. Number one, funny people. Hey, uh, normally I do better than that. Just like Adventureland director Greg Matola. Judd Apatow has a penchant for raunchy comedies, so when his dramatic Funny People was released, the trailers tried to get as many of his fans on board as possible. I enjoy all of your movies. Which movies? The ones where you try to kill Bruce Willis. The trailer is filled with goofy jokes and an upbeat sounding song, portraying a fun movie. Oh, come on, wipe it off. People are gonna think I broke up with you. Did you tell your mom? Yes, I sent her an email and she tried to email me back on a toaster. The actual experience definitely was not as innocent, as the film deals with Sandler's impending death from cancer and his failure as a romantic partner. You have a very serious disease. It's called AML. It's a form of leukemia. The film has even been compared to The Great Gatsby due to its tragic nature. So, when you go in thinking it's an Adam Sandler comedy, well, you'll be surprised. Fight like a man, would ya? I don't know how to fight, I'm a comedian! Do you agree with our list? What trailers misled you? For more truthful top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Yeah. Hey, that's not fair, I had zombies too. Yes, you did. Yes, you had zombies. But this is zombie redneck torture family, see? They're entirely separate species. It's like the difference between an elephant and an elephant seal.